Hello everyone, uh, this is the iPhone. So today we will discuss about the uh, Delta is an AIP communication between uh, POC and BFD. So uh, regarding the uh, Delta M M300 series uh, BFD, for the basic, uh, sorry, the most important parameter setting is uh, this three. Uh, we must select a frequency from LAN on source to eight and uh, Operation commands was to five, and change the communication decode method to zero. Then we can complete the IP address of the uh, Ethernet IP card uh, through the software uh, Delta DCI software. So here we can modify the IP address. So after this time, we can go to uh, Delta. Uh, POC software or uh, command manager. And you can find the uh, uh, Ethernet card IP address, then you can do a photo search. Okay, so here we can find the uh, uh, three devices uh, on the this network. The first one is for the Ethernet IP function card of uh, M300 series of BSD, and you can find the uh, two uh, SPOC. So later we will use a uh, S3 uh, uh, 320 as a uh, uh, master POC. So this is the system architecture. Uh, later we will use uh, this S300 POC as a uh, focus master, and this one is a uh, Delta Apple uh, Ethernet switch and. We have another S200 PLC and the MS300. And this one you need to purchase an Ethernet IP card. Now, only uh, your time provide only a uh, single port. But in the uh, near future, we will buy a uh, dual port Ethernet uh, IP card. Okay, so let's go to the software part. So, uh, firstly, uh, please uh, double click the uh, high. Uh, how will complete? And remember the model is this one. And before we go further, you can come out. So uh, this is how we complete a uh, new version. Remember to select the uh, communication, then we will use uh, Ethernet. Then remember this IP is uh, 0.1.10. Okay, then we double click and we'll complete again. Okay, so then now uh, we can come here and check. Uh, this is the uh, serial port. Serial port come one and come to uh, setting and the uh, Ethernet port. So now we can upload the data setting. Okay, and here you will find the IP or oh, because we already defined so it will be ten. Then how to uh, uh, start or uh, do the next? Okay, so here. Move a uh, mouse here, then select the uh, communication software, and we select EIP Builder. Okay, then uh, here you will see uh, only one device the network but actually we already can all the device so here we provide a easier way for uh, you so uh, just uh, press upgrade then we can scan the network and then we'll pump up the uh, device list so we just add uh, these two uh, device uh, because uh, IP uh, point one point ten is uh, the master POC itself, so we just uh, add this two, then uh, select this two and join network. Okay, 
and you will see a uh, controller will be on the top side and uh, drive driver will be on the uh, bottom side okay so now we view the link and then uh, select a data mapping okay so here you will find we have uh, two device and IP or 20 means this is 200 then uh, for uh, IP 30 is for the BSD okay and here you will find for the uh, CPU tag so uh, this one means the S300 the uh, main POC and this one is the adapter uh, means S200 and the second device uh, is uh, this uh, inverter so you can see uh, uh, here uh, is the data uh, lens we can do the uh, data exchange so you can see the lens is uh, 200 byte means the maximum we can uh, set 100 volt And here you can select the multi uh, cast uh, from uh, uh, point to point or to multi cast. Then you can set the time out and trigger mode. Can uh, default results I click and you can ch uh, also change to change to state. But here we will keep the default setting. Okay, so for example, here we will use our data. Uh, from uh, D0 to D1000 and uh, D1001 to D100 and here is for the input and output of drive so let's see the okay so you can see in uh, it means the uh, output from uh, BSD. So you can find here will be with the error warning and the drive status, and you can check the frequency command, uh, frequency output. Then out means the uh, command we give to uh, give from uh, give command from PLC to uh, BSD. So here we uh, give the status to 2000 the command from uh, 2000, 2100 after setting this uh, then okay let's go back again and here you will find for the status uh, we have some predefined but you can have uh, uh, several user defined parameters and same for the output Okay, so after uh, this, then we uh, download the setting. Okay, so when it's all done, then uh, we can open the software and create a very simple program. Okay, then we can open the monitor table. So if you forgot, then we can go back. Uh, we need to monitor uh, 1000, uh, 1000 and uh, uh, 1100. So for example, here we put uh, 1000, maybe 10 device. And uh, next, we add uh, another 10. Okay. okay. And we can create the second page for VSD. And this one is the 2000. And we just monitor 10 uh, device and then add another. Okay. Then we 
need the lower program. Okay, then next step, we go to AS200. And again, we create a simple program here. Again, uh, we create a monitor table here. So, uh, uh, don't remember then let's move back uh, the value here will be uh, d0 and d100 okay, so we download the uh, program oh, sorry here don't forget to select uh, and this IP address is 20 Sorry, then we go again. So when this done, then uh, let's see. Uh, we keep a value in D zero. Oh, okay. For example, we keep eleven. We keep uh, 11 here and then we can go back to uh, S300, uh, I mean the main POC, and you will find a switch to online, then you will find the 11 from here. And again, if we change, uh, sorry, now we move back to uh, S200 and if we give uh, 100. In e9. Then uh, let's go back to S300 again. So you will find this value become 100. And let's uh, come here. So you can see uh, if we want to write the value from S300 uh, to S200, then we should keep value uh, from uh, in uh, from uh, data range. Then I register the uh, 1100. Okay, so for example, we give a uh, one. We give the value one two three four in uh, S three hundred. Then uh, let's go back here, and you will see the value uh, in S two hundred already changed to uh, one two three four. And then uh, let's go to uh, uh, B uh, MS three hundred part. So what we want to show is I'll uh, give the frequency command from uh, POC. Then you will write to here, and we can monitor the value of uh, whether it's ready come or not. So we can see uh, what we uh, need to monitor is uh, frequency command. Uh, and the, the frequency command uh, from POC, and this one is the actual command we see. Okay, so that means uh, the, the value we need to monitor uh, is uh, D2002, uh, okay, because this one is the frequency command. So 
we want to check. So later we should monitor 2002 regarding the uh, frequency command from POC. We should check the uh, 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 one okay? So two one oh one sorry two one this is the uh, frequency command we uh, will give to the BSD so if we give uh, five thousand here that means uh inverter uh inverter side will receive five hundred uh fifty hertz and you can see here uh, 2000, uh, 2002 become uh, 5000 means uh, now the BSD size is uh, 50 hertz okay so that's all for uh, uh, today's uh, function uh, is only a key function introduction thank you